Good morning. My Ape are back. Here's the plan. Well, I'll explain first. For those of you that are in the roughly 50 and a little bit percent who are not yet subscribed, My Ape are back, or My Ape are back, is the local dialect, Kapampangan, or Good Morning. If you're not subscribed yet, come on, off you go. I need the numbers. Anyway, the plan is, so I'm told, more of the same. Ceilings, skim coat, cleaning the swimming pool, uh, mud and tape. That might be about it, but I'm gonna give Manny a hard time if he's keeping something back from me, which he often does. We'll see. What could possibly go wrong? Monday morning. For the roughly 50% of you who are subscribed, you probably know what's coming next. Monday morning exercise. Right now, it's the briefing. Once again, there has been mention of uniforms and the penalty if you do not wear the uniform. But now, this is the bit we're all waiting for on a Monday. Oh, some of them are starting already. <laughs> Exercise time. Let's get the new faces. How enthusiastic are the new guys? Oh, the smiling faces. That's all we want to see. Is singing Marvin going to take it seriously? So far, yeah. Jagging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I am one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two. And even Glenn's involved. Good effort. Good effort. Manny says nothing new today. Continuing what they were doing before. We will see. We'll come back later. If, he, if he's got something up his sleeve and there's something new, we're going to come back and give him a hard time. At the pool. It's not crystal clear, but it is considerably better than it was. We have roughly a day to go before our kids might want to come and have a dip after their flight in from the UK. They're flying right now, arriving very late tonight. And we'll see if they want to jump in and have a splash tomorrow. But it's looking pretty good. It's not there yet. But uh, Glenn and Riddell were both here at different times over the weekend trying to get this thing clean and they've made a lot of progress in the dirty kitchen still a little bit of work to be done on plastering side one side of where the oven cutout is this side not done this side done and so far i have completely failed to go back to wilcon and check to gain the size of the sink that's going to go here not sure if I'll get a chance today, but we'll see. At the back of the house, we have Yves and Elson. A bit more plastering with catch basins going on. We have asked this morning that this living room ceiling, uh, any work on this gets held up just for a little bit because we want to just have another look at the design and make sure we're happy with it. And at the moment, 
not quite there. In the upstairs hallway, we have got more skin coat. Uh, I think that is the second coat going on at the end there. I did get a comment from Joan Messias. I've had a few comments from Joan and they always put a smile on my face because every time they start with a variation on hello young man. Oh my goodness, that makes me feel happy when I see that. But the comment was well, various points, but one of the points was the distance between the screw holes in here, uh, which were, it was mentioned that they should be no more than 10 centimeters. I just had a quick look and they're a little bit more than that. They're around about a bit less than 15 centimeters. I think it's, I couldn't get a tape measure exactly up there, but I could eyeball it and it was about 13, 14 centimeters. So that's a little less then maybe we should have. Hopefully it is still enough. I'm in the master bedroom and I, I want to do something in response to what I think is a terrific suggestion from Sean, who said, have we really had a look at the views out of the windows around the house? And the answer is not really. So I'm going to do that now. We'll try and whiz around starting here. Now, this is a bad example because the view we will have is going to be a little bit more once we at least cut back this tree. Still hoping that we can cut it back enough to make the view acceptable without entirely cutting it down. But from the master bedroom, looking east or looking out to the south over the uh, subdivision next to us. So just a little bit better, a better look on the south side. And obviously, please forgive the scaffolding. That's the master bedroom, but just to show a little bit more from the master bedroom balcony. And again, that tree will be cut back quite a lot. Oh, and today is a bad example. Uh, normally, over there, we get a very clear view of Mount Orion, but it's very hazy this morning. Maybe I should do this tomorrow. Oh, we'll keep going. I skipped the middle bedroom at the front. This is the one on the north side, still northeast. So similar, but this time, looking out to the north, not a huge amount to see really. I mean, rice fields here. A little bit of construction over there. We do think that at some point this area is going to get developed, but we've got no idea where. Bedroom at the back of the house, northwest corner. Almost certainly the best view from the house. This is uh, Jack's room. So we've got fields over there, fields all the way, but then You've got the view of the pool. And in fact, if you're not sitting down, a bit of a view of the subdivision over on that side. Middle bedroom at the back. Not, not as good as Jack's room's view, but still not bad. Looking out towards the west. The living room. Right now, possibly, the worst view of any of the rooms in the house. But of course, this truck is not a permanent feature and the tree will be cut back and the temporary uh, work area is gonna be gone. So it'll have a view out over whatever landscaping we do at the front here. And again, over on the south side, looking over that subdivision. The sunroom and patio basically looking out over the pool and a little bit of landscaping that will be done back there. Still no final decision on this tree, whether that gets moved, stays, or just completely taken out. And this is the dirty kitchen right next to it. Obviously, almost the same. I've skipped the dining room, gone straight to the kitchen. Uh, and this is the east facing view. This is quite important to me because I think I'll be spending quite a lot of time in this kitchen. 
So that's the east facing view, which will be fine once we landscape. The view on the north side, not so great. A wall, you can't have everything. In the carport, right now, we've got Oliver and a Donald. A little while ago, original Rico was in here as well. Back on ceiling duty in here. I still can't get inside the storage room to check on the uh, status of the solar system. I will try and, if it doesn't get cleared out in the next 24 hours, I might have to ask them to make me a passageway through because I would like to see what's going on with that. And we still don't have the Wi-Fi app for this yet because there's no Wi-Fi connection just here. It's about half an hour after lunch and at the back of the house they have been working on plastering the catchment basins, catch basins, catchment basins, catch basins, let's go with that. Uh, working on the outsides as well as uh, a little bit of the insides and the tops of the remaining ones that were not finished. We do have a couple of guys working on the front of the house on the outside and I've got no idea what they're working on. Time will tell. In the carport, we have one and three quarters of the individual carports with some kind of ceiling board in place. Still quite a way to go. And all around the outside edges and along these drop down parts as well. In the upstairs hallway, more skin coat on the inside of the house. And skim coat going on at the front in this decorative area. There are a few rain spots around and some rather dark looking clouds and quite a bit of thunder for the last little while. I'll be very surprised if we get through the rest of the workday without interruption. And that also means we could cause this to go a nasty colour again. We'll have to wait and see. It's about 15 minutes after those last clips and the rain is coming. So anybody that was working outside, uh, either on the catch basins or on the decorative features on the front, they've had to stop. I guess Manny will see if this carries on for too long and if it doesn't, they'll be back. If it does, they'll, he'll probably move them onto another task. But inside, should still be business as usual. But I'm not going over there to find out. It's 4.30. The rain only lasted 10 or 15 minutes, so we had a bit of an escape there. The water in the pool looks pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. The catch basins along the back of the house. Almost all fully plastered now, except still the top of this one and the inside of that one. All the others are done. But there's one that's confusing me. There's a new one, and it's on the side of the house. Actually, the outside on the south side of the house by the sauna and jacuzzi area, spa and gym, I suppose. It's confusing me because above it, there's no hole for a downspout. So I don't know where this one's going to go. I'll we'll have to wait and see. Something else that's been happening over the last two or three days is the appearance of more and more taps on the outside of the house, which is what we asked for. Kind of one on each corner or thereabouts to allow us to have water all around the property. Well, all around the house at least. Inside the carport, the ceilings are getting closer. We now have all three sections with, I'm not sure if it's gypsum board or hardy flex, but all the way across. All done. Just the central areas and the outside areas still to do. My guess is quite a bit of that will be the PVC panels. Skim coat on the decorative element, at least the uh, second floor, nothing yet downstairs. The upstairs hallway. Most of it now has at least two skim coats, as do 
the bedroom, the first bedroom on the right, the doorway you can see there, and the first bedroom on the left. Uh, the bedroom on the right also has at least two skim coats on the walk-in closet. The two bedrooms further down near the stairs, still only one, and the master bedroom, still only one. And the double height area, still none at all. Over here. And still nothing here at the double height entrance and a lot more of a first coat still to be done high up over the stairs. That is the end of the day. I have to say, there is not a lot of really, really exciting stuff that I could have shown you today. Catch basins. I can't put out a video called Catch Basins. It'll get about three viewers. I think if I put something out that says second skim coat, ditto. So it may well be that we continue the sequence that we started with a twofer. I don't know. We'll see what I decide when I get in. That is it. Maybe tomorrow there might be something slightly more sexy and interesting to show you. Uh, fingers crossed. See you then.